Hiking is the focus in this week's Backyard Getaways. There are some great trails in the Northwest Metro, and reporter Eric Nelson and photographer Dustin Scholl found a good one in Maple Grove. been to some of the other cities like Portland and Seattle and ridden bikes out there and ridden on trails and I can definitely say we have a top tier system. The Twin Cities is a biking mecca. There are 160 miles of mostly paved trails in the Three Rivers Park District. And if you look on the map, we have Fish Park to the south and we have Elm Creek Park, which is off the map. Including 40 in the Northwest Metro. And we are constantly planning new trails for the future as well. The trails are one of the reasons we moved to Maple Grove. We live about a block away from them and we use them all the time. Maple Grove is one of the biking hotspots. Photographer Dustin Scholl and myself discovered that when we took a spin on the picturesque Medicine Lake Trail. And it's mostly uh, preserved acreage of forest, wetland, and it's very scenic. Take a ride on this blacktop ribbon and you decompress quickly. It's our happy place, without a doubt. Peace and tranquility are the norm on this trail. I don't hear any cars, I don't hear any neighbors, all I hear is squirrels, deer, whatever. Despite being located near neighborhoods and busy I-94, the trail looks more like Bemidji than Maple Grove. You feel like you're up north up here, which is kind of cool, especially in the wintertime when you get some snow on the trails. It's, it's pretty neat back here. When you're on the Medicine Lake Trail, you don't feel like you're even in a suburb or an urban area. Uh, it feels very remote, yet the access to the trail is right around the corner. With pedal power and open eyes, we soaked up our surroundings. The scenery is spectacular with plenty of changing landscapes. One minute you ride under a tree canopy. Then you are on a boardwalk going over bogs and wetlands. We've been here 13 years and I can't imagine leaving just for this reason alone, the trails. We love it. Especially in the fall, the colors just change and it's, it's, it's like living in another world. Yes, there is an explosion of color on this trail. Purple and yellow wildflowers dot the landscape. And some sumacs are already turning red. There are bees and butterflies and even bears that don't bite rode over bridges and through tunnels, constantly captivated by the views. Nothing better than coming out on a fall morning and the sun's coming out and the leaves are falling like snowflakes. It's gorgeous. It's breathtaking. There are more than 10 million visitors to the Three Rivers Park system each year. Many feel the tug of the trails. Four million of those visits are on our regional trail system. So over 40% of our visitation occurs on our regional trails. I think that's that alone stands for itself, that they're in demand and they're highly used and very popular. Signs are posted every mile on the trail system. If you come to a fork in the road, there is no wrong decision. Every turn is a right turn. For Backyard Getaways, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News.